Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ashiti. So first of all, I want to apologize for the footage that you guys didn't see in the background. I was actually very upset. I was very hella mad because the people I was fighting against in this match as well as some of the people that were on my team were hella tryharding the previous match and completely ruined my entire footage that I wanted to put on this video. So you'll see me play very uh, aggressive, play very angry and just overall I was not having fun with this match. I was just very angry and I was just, as you can see, I was shooting bodies as well. So I apologize for that. I was just very frustrated. I 100% admit that and I just want to call myself out on it um, just right here and now. So first things first, I want to talk about Black Ops 4 and not in a good way either. It, it is no surprise that Activision somehow, uh, I don't know how, managed to fuck up this game in this franchise even more than what they already have so oh GT what has Activision Bl Blizzard done this time oh boy well if you guys don't know Activision or I'm sorry Treyarch, Treyarch has now started adding in uh, weapons into supply drops now before I really didn't care with the uh, the first batch of weapons being the stingray ballistic knives and, well, I was mad about the ballistic knives because in previous Call of Duty games, well, BO1 and BO2, the ballistic knives have been something that, uh, have been genu genuinely something we have gotten, uh, at launch, you know, at launch. It's something that's, uh, that was already in the game and now they're putting it, them in supply crates, which pisses me the fuck off. Now let's talk about what they, what we know that they're adding in with the new, um, the new season or the new contraband stream, Apocalypse. They are adding in two supply crates, from what my knowledge, two new weapons. The fucking uh, crossbow. And then one of my favorite guns in Call of Duty, the Argus shotgun, which is a slug ground shotgun that was, in B that was featured in BO3. It is literally one of my favorite guns in the entire fucking game. And... This just pushed me, this honestly pushed me over the edge. I, I can't even lie, this pushed me over the edge. This game is literally pay to win now. I don't give a shit. You, you can convince, you will not convince me otherwise that BO3 was not pay to win because of the fact that they added uh, guns into the supply drop system and whoever spent the most money and whoever got the luckiest was able to get was able to get one of the best weapons you'll even see in this footage one of the players I was playing against who I was shooting I'll be honest I was shooting his body he was one of the people that was pissing me off in fucking uh, last game because he was fucking spawn camping this dude was was using the peacekeeper the peacekeeper in this game literally fucking melts you will not convince me fucking otherwise it like if I was like you guys see me using it now even with me shooting fucking legs this shit fucking melts. This shit had a suppressor on it. It still fucking melts. This game has become pay to win fucking trash. Now, I already didn't like like I'll be honest with you. I tolerated this game up until up until now. I thought that the gameplay was atrocious with the new uh, manual healing system I thought the gunplay was just not fun I thought it was annoying I thought the time to kill what isn't that good I like I'm someone who likes a faster time to kill Call of Duty maybe it's because I have a faster reaction time than most people because I've been playing this franchise so long I've been playing this game seriously for so fucking long that I feel like as a player who plays this game at non casually I just I have worked hard for my fucking skill I like game Games like Black Ops 2 where people die fairly fucking quickly. I don't like games like fucking the like Black Ops 4 that are fucking literal that like people will sit there and fucking eat bullets, turn the corner, fucking manual heal and then fucking somehow manage to fucking kill me and it's literally the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. All right. Calm down GT, calm down. Now let me start talking with a little bit more cohesion. Black Ops 4 is the very pinnacle of fucking video games that that over time like that like okay imagine this imagine imagine your food coming out 
Imagine your food coming out. Imagine you going to a restaurant and your food comes out and your food comes out, you know, bland, you know, super bland. And ev and you tell the waiter, you say, hey, my food is literally fucking garbage. I can I get some, you know, can I can I get it remade? The waiter goes, yeah, sure, we'll get it remade for you. It comes back. It's just a little bit better. And then, but it's not quite where you want it to be. And you tell the waiter again. And you keep repeating this process until the game, until eventually it starts going backwards. Because now you sent it back so much, many times, either the people, the, you now pissed off, you've probably pissed off the fucking, uh, the, the cooks. And then they just don't care anymore. They just don't give a shit anymore. So now they're just serving you whatever they fucking feel like it. So now you're getting this product that is literally fucking garbage. Now now it has the same fucking quality as if I were to fucking throw a steak on the floor. Fucking crush it with my bare feet. Throw it on the grill. Grill, don't even care if you wanted it. Medium rare, fucking rare. I don't care what the fuck you wanted it. You're getting it. And then I serve it out to you. And now you're getting, you, you know, it, the product gets better. But then it gets shittier. This is, that's literally what this game fucking is. That is literally what this game is. It is a product that got a little bit better so that, so that, you know, review sites and people could say good things about it. And then when it actually came, then over the months, it just got shittier. Now we're in this process of this game being literally fucking pay to win. The fucking Blackout community, I don't play Blackout, but from what I heard, the Blackout community says that the fucking game is now paid, that Blackout is now pay to win. How the fuck do you have Blackout pay to fucking win? It's Blackout. It's a battle royale. How the fuck do you have a, a, a pay to win battle royale game? Like, how fucking retarded are you, Activision? How fucking retarded are you, Treyarch, that you have a pay to win fucking bla uh, battle royale mode? Like, how badly do you fuck that, like... For Fortnite is fucking free to play, and they're, they they don't even have a fucking pay to win battle. And, and their game mode isn't battle. Uh, I'm I'm so far straight I can't fucking talk. Battle Royale isn't fucking pay to win in Fortnite. Like, I I can't believe that I actually spent fucking money on this game. Like I'll be like you guys will see right here. I I bought a lot of the skins. I bought a lot of the fucking uh the the different uh weapon variants that they had. You'll see that I'm using the fucking Sog 9 mil, uh the fucking really cool tribal looking one that I fucking absolutely love. It's literally my one of my favorite guns in the game, the Mastercraft version. I fucking love it. And I and I paid for it. I'll be honest with you. I fucking bought it and I and I have no regrets buying it. I have no regrets buying it, but at the same time, I fucking do because I literally fucking hate this game. I literally fucking hate this game. Like, both from a gameplay standpoint, I don't know how I've literally played this game up until now. For like, like I don't know how I made it this far. I'm like Prestige Six. I don't know how I made it this far. Like, I didn't even like. I liked World War Two more than this game, and I I'm only first Prestige in fucking World War Two. How like like what? I I I don't know. I honestly could not fucking tell you. This game is literally atrocious, not only from a fucking gameplay standpoint, but also from a fucking uh, monetization, you know, business practice fucking standpoint. This game literally throws every fucking microtransaction that has been implemented in fucking gaming history into one fucking $60 fucking product. Don't believe me? The game's fucking... The game has, has put in fucking game-changing, you know, you could argue with me, Game changing fucking weapons into supply drops. The game has fucking supply drops. The game has fucking uh, in game purchases that you can get from the store that you can directly purchase. And the game has f the game has randomized loot boxes. I already said that. The game has fucking the game has a fucking contraband stream, a fucking battle pass system. Like, what more do you fucking need, Activision? You you want to know why? Here's my theory. Let, let me tell you something. Let me let me let's let's be fucking honest with each other. Activision is losing fucking money. Let's all be fucking honest with each other. Activision is losing money now. They're they're digging themselves in a fucking hole that they cannot dig themselves out of. Why? Because they have lost the they have lost Bungie. Bungie was with Destiny was one of their big fucking franchises, and we can already see that with fucking Destiny. Destiny in its 
current future, what Bungie has planned for the fucking game, they have already stated on what they want to do with the game, and that we already know Activision was fucking holding them back. We already literally know that shit now. I, I, I can't fucking believe, I cannot believe this shit, dude. Activision is, like I said, they're digging themselves in this fucking hole. I'm sorry if this is not cohesive. I'm just so fucking pissed off right now. Activision has is digging themselves in this fucking hole because these of these fucking investors. I, I, I blame the investors. I blame the publishers. These investors want more and more and more every fucking quarter, every fucking year that the, that the, they're fucking, they're pressuring Activision to do some fucking retarded shit. That literally, their entire community has said like, Oh no, please don't do that, please don't do that, Activision. Like, we've made our fucking voices hurt since BO fucking 3, that we didn't want fucking weapons and supply drops. Oh, we're gonna add weapons and supply drops. Oh boy. Like, are you fucking kidding me? How fucking dumb are you? It's literally like... Okay. When I okay, let me let me teach you guys something. Let me let me teach you guys something about business. When I was in the when I was in culinary school, our, and I had to take a somewhat of a restaurant management. I had to take like a restaurant management class, so we learned a little bit of business in that class. When what we learned in that class is that if and even if you watch Kitchen Nightmares by Gordon Ramsay, you'll know this. You know also, if your if your food is shit, people won't fucking buy it. If your food is shit, no one will fucking buy it. Because why would anyone want a shit product? That is literally what fucking active Like, Activision is not necessarily putting out these shit products, but they're putting out these fucking niche products. Like, look at the fucking influence that Activision is having on fucking World of Warcraft. You know, Blizzard, World of Warcraft, fucking, uh, they've already fucked up with Heroes of the Storm. All the esports players for e Heroes of the Storm are out of a fucking job uh, now after, I think it was last year or the year before, because fucking Activision wanted to cut costs, so they took one of the, probably their least profitable fucking games, and they fucking, they fucking canceled the esports for that shit, so all the esports players were fucking out of jobs. Like, this is, this is what Activision is fucking doing. They, they have nothing. They have nothing in their fucking names. I want you to look at what Activision has in their fucking names currently. I want you to look at what they have in their fucking names now that Bungie's gone. They have the Call of Duty franchise, which they are slowly fucking killing. Then they have Blizzard, which the, if, you t t if you ask any fucking World of Warcraft player, any fucking World of Warcraft veteran who's been playing this shit for fucking 15 years, they'll tell you that the game is not in a good state right now. It, you know, the newest patch is actually really good, but the game itself, compared to what it was back 15 fucking years ago, is fucking, is, is garbage. It, it's not as good. It's not as rewarding. It doesn't feel good. Heroes of the Storm, you don't even fucking hear anything about that game. Same thing with Hearthstone. Everything just feels like it just went fucking downhill because Activision's in the fucking picture because of these fucking investors who are constantly asking for fucking because they want fucking double the profits they want they want this they want fucking that oh oh am I gonna get my money back I, I don't no we don't want the minimum we want maximum profit I don't care what you do I don't care if you slap the fucking money out of these players I want my money at the end of the day They'll be willing to give you the most shittiest fucking product in the fucking world, and they'll give they'll give you a Call of Duty game with a campaign fucking like I promise you one day in the future, they will give you a Call of Duty game that's like campaign only or fucking no, they'll give you a Call of Duty game that's fucking multiplayer only, nothing else, nothing fucking else. They'll give you minimum guns, they'll give you minimum maps, they'll give you no customizing, they'll give you literally nothing. They'll bring the franchise back to what it was in fucking, in its old state, and you'll feel, you'll feel so ripped off. You'll feel so fucking ripped off, because you're getting this half-assed shitty product that is inferior to what you've had in the past. Like, it, it, it blows my fucking mind. It just blows my fucking mind that... That when the, like, the, cons like, okay. If everybody, if all the Call of Duty players across all platforms just stopped playing the game right fucking now. And said, yeah, we're not buying, we're not buying Modern Warfare. 
I guarantee, I guarantee you the CEO of Activision would be having a fucking heart attack. The investors would be knocking on his fucking door with shotguns, pitchforks, and torches ready to fucking hang this man for being a witch. Be because they're not because their profits are literally in the fuck in such a decline that it looks like like it looks like you're you're fucking going like it looks like you're going down a fucking like you're on a slide and you're going downhill. Like it, it's fucking it's it's ridiculous, dude. I'm I I I've literally just fucking had it with this game. I've had it with this game and play. I I forced my I literally forced myself to play this fucking game for you guys for this foot for this video. I forced myself and I'm I'm and I really wish I would have waited a little bit because I know this video isn't going to be cohesive. But let me summarize what I'm trying to say. Activision has literally ruined this fucking game. This game is literally fucking garbage. It's the it, it I swear Activision Activision has sucked up sucked up all the creativity from its fucking developers, from its fucking from from all the developers under its wing. Like the creativity that we saw with that, you know, a lot of the WoW fans had saw with the game back in the day with fucking with you know with with uh dungeons you know, dungeons like fucking uh, Black Rock Depths. You know, so one of the greatest fucking uh, dungeons ever fucking created in an MMORPG. It, it, you'll never see that ever again. You'll never ever see that again. You'll never see the same quality as original World of Warcraft that you will ever you know in, in that that it was back in vanilla. It, it, that is currently retail. Like it, it just won't happen. I. I'm I'm sorry if this video was cohesive. I just needed to vent. I just needed to vent to you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I I'm sorry. I like I said, this video was very incohesive. I'm just fucking pissed off. I just wanted to vo voice my frustrations and let you guys know just how I feel about Black Ops 4 and Activision and how Activision is literally killing the franchises that are under their wing. But with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching and tolerating me. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys here in another video. Goodbye.